Hi everyone, today we're continuing our discussion of adjusting journal entries and today we're talking about amortization or depreciation. I'm your instructor Brandy. We record amortization on fixed assets, also called capital assets, because these assets lose value over time. We want to record the expense over time as they lose value and this is called amortization expense. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on straight line amortization. Straight line amortization can be calculated using the following formula. The cost of the asset minus the residual value or salvage value, essentially what you can get for the asset when you're done using it, over the useful life, either in months or in years. So let's look at an example. So we can calculate our annual amortization by taking the cost of $3,000 minus our salvage value. If it's not given, the salvage value is assumed to be zero. So we take $3,000 divided by our estimated useful life of five years. That gives us an amortization expense of $600 per year. If we divide that $600 by 12 months, it gives us monthly amortization expense of $50 per month. So now in order to do the journal entry, you have to figure out are we doing amortization for one month, for one year, or for a portion of the year. Every single month, the amortization expense of $50 will be recorded. The journal entry is going to look exactly the same every single month. Our example didn't specify a date. Let's pretend that Sansa purchased this equipment on January 1st of 2015. At the end of the month on January 31st, our journal entry will be debit amortization expense for $50 and credit accumulated amortization with the asset's name. So in this case, our asset name is sewing equipment. And our description to record amortization of sewing equipment. Every single month we're going to make the exact same journal entry. So on February 28th, we're going to have the same journal entry. If we consider our T accounts for these accounts, amortization expense is debited by $50 and accumulated amortization sewing equipment is credited by $50. The same thing happens on February 28th. So on February 28th, in our expense account we have $100 and in our accumulated amortization account, we have $100. We know that expense accounts go on our income statement as expenses, but what is an accumulated amortization account? The accumulated amortization account is actually called a contra asset account. And what a contra account means is that it always stays with its main account. So in this case, when we bought the sewing equipment, we would have set up an account called sewing equipment. And then when we're amortizing it, we're using the accumulated amortization sewing equipment account. Sewing equipment and accumulated amortization sewing equipment always stay together. The accumulated amortization account also has the opposite sign of the regular asset account. So sewing equipment is an asset, its regular sign is a debit. Accumulated amortization sewing equipment has its regular sign as a credit. So the accumulated amortization account shows up on the balance sheet with the sewing equipment account. If we were to do our balance sheet at February 28th, and we're just gonna be looking at the asset side, and we're going to be looking at the property, plant, and equipment. Under our property, plant, and equipment category of the balance sheet, we're going to list out our sewing equipment, and we purchased that for $3,000. It's going to stay at its cost on the balance sheet. The accumulated amortization sewing equipment of $100 is going to be deducted from that $3,000. The net balance of the sewing equipment is going to be $2,900. Every single month, our accumulated amortization account is going to increase, and that is going to decrease the net sewing equipment amount on the balance sheet. But the account sewing equipment doesn't change until we actually sell the asset or until it's completely used up and we have to throw it in the garbage and that is how you deal with amortization. Thanks for watching.